In question 3, we have to solve this equation which has x plus 7 minus 8x on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 17 by 6 minus 5x by 2. So let's make our task easier by converting the fractional terms, the fractional coefficients into integer coefficients by multiplying both sides of the equation by a suitable multiplier. So we have 3 in the denominator here, we have 6 here and we have 2 here and the LCM of these 3 denominators is 6. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by 6. So multiply both sides by 6 and let's see what happens now. So the original LHS is x plus 7 minus 8x by 3 and the original RHS is 17 by 6 minus 5x by 2 and we are now going to multiply both sides by 6. So 6 times the LHS is equal to 6 times the RHS. Okay now let's carry out the multiplication. So we have 6 into x that's 6x then we have 6 into 7 that's 42 and then we have 6 into minus 8x by 3 this will be minus 16x on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 6 into 17 by 6 that's 17 and then we have 6 into minus 5x by 2 and that will be minus 15x. So we have basically uh, converted all the coefficients into integers and now the calculations we might find the calculations a little bit easier so we have 6x minus 16x so that's minus 10x plus 42 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 17 minus 15x now what we can do is we can take this minus 15x and transpose it to the left side combine it with minus 10x so we will get minus 10x and the transposed term will be plus 15x and then we have this plus 42 so plus 42 is equal to 17 on the right hand side. Now minus 10x plus 15x is 5x so we have 5x plus 42 is equal to 17 and now we can take this plus 42 and transpose it to the right side and this will give us 5x is equal to 17 minus 42 and 17 minus 42 is minus 25 so let's write this equation here so we will get 5x is equal to minus 25 and finally we need to get rid of this 5 we can divide both sides of the equation by 5 so we will get x is equal to minus 25 divided by 5 and this is equal to minus 5 so we will get our solution as x is equal to minus 5. So once again what we did was we basically multiplied both sides of the equation by 6 so that all the fractional coefficients became integer coefficients. Of course we did not need to do this we could have directly combined the variable terms x minus 8x by 3 and this term minus 5x by 2 on the RHS but multiplying both sides by 6 and converting the coefficients into integers actually makes the calculations a little bit easier. Alright so the answer to this question is x equal to minus 5 and this completes question number 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.